Hello guys, good morning. Um, if you're new here, I am Tiffany Allen and I am a clinical hypnotherapist and a confidence coach. And I help women after leaving a toxic relationship improve their confidence, make clear choices, have the confidence in themselves to make clear choices and to move on rapidly in 30 days or less because your healing journey, you're improving yourself doesn't have to take years it doesn't have to take months it doesn't have to take a long time when you're working with your subconscious your subconscious mind is so powerful and it is what controls your life 95 percent of your day every day so when we can i feel like a lot of people try to control themselves and better themselves and improve their life on a conscious level so what we do in my work together is we go deep into it we go to the subconscious patterns the subconscious programming the subconscious beliefs the subconscious thoughts and we reprogram everything to where it literally changes your entire life everything improves so if that interests you at all if you have been dealing with a breakup a toxic relationship negative emotions you want to improve your confidence and you just don't feel like you're capable please reach out to me let's connect if that's you I give free calls away every week where we jump on the phone and we talk about what you're going through and what's going on and where you want to be. And then by the end of the call, you believe that that's possible for you because it is possible for you. It's just getting you to shift your mind a little bit to believe that for you. So if you guys want one, let me know. Reach out on my cover photo. I have a link where you can go in and schedule a call. Um, so feel free. Um, if you're popping on live, let me know you're here. And if you're watching the replay, just say hashtag replay in the comments. And I guess you don't even have to put hashtag. But just let me know you've been here and watch my video. Because I like to connect and reach out and talk to everyone that does follow my content. And so, and I hope this content helps you. So today, I want to talk about like five key phrases to disarm a narcissist or a toxic person. And this can really help you to take it into if you are dealing with a toxic relationship and maybe maybe you've left the relationship and you're still dealing with them because maybe you have kids together. Uh, maybe you have to see them in some sort of way. Or maybe you're still with them and you haven't had the courage to leave yet, but you know you should. This is something you can start to do to stand up for yourself, to shut the conversation down. Hi, Jennifer. Good morning. So the first one I'm going to share with you guys is I'm sorry you feel that way. So when they come to you and they're like, you're an idiot, you're stupid, and they come at you with, or whatever manipulation, or whatever negative, like, language they speak to you or slur to you, um, this is something you can say to sh kind of shut it down and have them realize, like, fighting is not, is not an option for this. There is no openness for this discussion and just say, like, I'm sorry you feel that way. And you're, you're not, you're not fighting with them any deeper. You're not keeping them like to where they feel like, cause you know, you get in those moments where you get in those fights and they may say something negative or make you feel really, really, really shitty. And, and, and then you get into it and then it's just a back and forth brawl, like a fight. And then, so this way it's like, there is no, there's, you're not open for fighting. You're not open for discussion. You're not open for the conversation. I'm sorry you feel that way. And that kind of shuts them down because they like the fight. Um, and then they realize like, whoa, like she's not, she doesn't want to fight with me. And then it shuts them down, disarms them. Another thing you guys can say is, I understand you feel that way about me. Because I guys, guys, I want you to realize that, sorry, my daughter is like moving around the room. <laughs> so I'm shaking a little bit. But, um, so something that you guys can do is realize that whatever this person feels about you just because they've said it over and over and over just because they feel a certain way about you a negative way about you doesn't mean it's true it does not mean it's true if anyone has something negative to say about you what happens is when you start to believe it is when you take it on it as your truth so remind yourself over and over and over just because someone has something negative to say about you doesn't mean it's true unless you choose to take it on as your truth so just remind yourself like what you what they say has nothing to do with me it doesn't mean anything about me it's their feelings their opinions and their opinions don't really matter if you don't really want them to and you have that power to choose and decide for yourself so and a lot of the times reminding yourself that hurt people hurt people and this person this toxic person has been hurt and probably has had a lot of 
painful moments in their life that made them the way they are, they want you to feel as shitty as they do. So when you can like shut it down and disarm them, it really can be super helpful to not even, not even, it's like kind of like you're just putting a block there. You're not even letting them get into your energetic field. You're not letting them ruin your day. You're just going on with your life because you choose to be happy. You choose to be at peace. You choose to be free. So that's what you can say is, I understand how you feel about me. So what you're saying is you accept like, and then you can also add if you want to, yep, they don't like to see you happy, Jennifer. They don't because they're not happy. And that's simply, that's simply why is because they're not happy. Happy people, true happy people want other people to be happy. They will go out of their way to help other people be happy, to improve themselves, to, to make someone smile. Hurt people don't want that for other people because they don't feel it. And so anyone up above you, anyone better than you, which I don't, I guess that I shouldn't have worded it that way because I don't feel anyone's better than anyone else. But anyone doing better than you, anyone happier than you will never bring you down to that, will never bring you down. They will always want to bring you up to their level. Someone below you, someone, someone not below you, but like, you know, better, no one's better. We're all just human doing our thing. But someone like having a, someone that's really hurt, someone that feels really, really low and negative they will always want to bring you down because they feel that negativity. They feel that low feeling. So they always want to just bring everyone down to their level to make them feel the way so they're not alone in that feeling. Rather than healing themselves, rather than doing the work to better themselves, it feels it's easier to bring people down instead of doing the work. Um, so what else? Something else you can add to that phrase is I understand how you feel about me and I accept that I can't change that. Basically, what that's saying is like, you disarm the fight. You disarm the fight right there. You're letting them know, like, again, I'm not open. I'm not open to take your drama. I'm not open to take your... And without saying it, like, you, that would cause a fight, probably. But you just say, like, simply, I accept that you feel that way, and I understand I can't change it. Because no matter how much effort and energy you put in to try to change their opinion about you, they're always going to have a negative opinion about you. So you might as well just say, I accept that I can't change your opinion, whatever, move along with your life because, and I think also, side notes <laughs> everywhere, but I also believe that like if you work on yourself and you better yourself and you better your belief in yourself and your confidence in yourself, then you're gonna realize like you get to choose you could decide how you feel and just because someone else says something and really truly believes that you're a negative bad person you're like you let it blow off your shoulder you don't care what they have to say because you believe in yourself now you're confident in yourself now and so whatever everyone else thinks and believes and says doesn't matter anymore because you don't believe it and i think it hurts because sometimes when they do say that sometimes we start to believe it we start to question ourselves and so that's why I say always do the work, work on yourself if you are struggling. Um, and I know it can be hard sometimes. So this disarms the fight. A toxic person loves to fight. Like I said, they love to fight. They love to hurt people. They love to bring people down to their negativity where they are on that level. And so this says, I'm not open, I'm not open for fighting. Another thing you guys can say is, and also remembering and reminding yourself that the way they feel has nothing to do with you. Nothing. <laughs> nothing to do with you. It's everything about them. Hey, Alistar, yeah, reach out to me. I would love to calibrate and do something. Um, I'm shifting into this new, this new level, this new, like, picture, this new vision, I guess. So, yeah, definitely message me. Um, and so another thing you guys can say, another phrase, another shut down, disarmed phrase you can say to this toxic person or narcissist is your anger is not my responsibility. Again, this, I feel like this is something we need to remind ourselves. Like whatever you feel, whatever you like have going on, whatever you're angry about, it has nothing to do with me. It has, it's a projection and that's what I would say sometimes. I'm like, you know, you know, when you're saying all those bad things about me, it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with the way you're feeling about yourself. So you're projecting on other people, trying to make other people feel shitty. Again, bringing people down to that level because hurt people hurt people. And so when you can say like your anger 
is not my responsibility and you can mentally remind yourself of that and mentally remind yourself of I'm not responsible for your anger I'm not responsible for why you can't control your anger I'm not responsible for why you're mad we all have feelings we all have things that go on and we get to choose how we decide we get to choose how we react to these things that are happening to us. And like you, as a as a person from a toxic relationship and maybe an empathetic person, maybe someone that really deeply cares about people and you got into this relationship because you absolutely cared about this person and you wanted it to work and you wanted to be happy, you got into this thinking, I want them to be happy. I want them to feel good. I want to, I want to, even maybe put, put yourself on the back burner just to make this person happy and then you feel like every time they get angry you're responsible you're responsible for making them happy you're responsible for making them feel better you're responsible for making them out of their anger out of their sadness out of their everything but when you realize like we all have a choice we all get to choose how we react to things then you you also remind yourself that Okay, something happens. This person says something. I get to choose two different situations of where I want to feel. I can either let them bring me down or I can also or remind myself just because they're angry doesn't mean I have to be. Doesn't just because they feel low doesn't mean I have to. I want to change my new toy. Okay, one second and then I'll be with you, okay? All right. Let me finish this cuz I'm on a live, okay? Okay. Just one second. <laughs> mom life guys okay uh, there you go and so just because someone else feels low doesn't mean you have to take that emotion on as your own like you can have your own emotions you can have your own feelings you can have your own life you can have your own belief you're a human like you were born as your unique self and you get to decide it's cool. It's pretty cool once you be, start to become aware of like, just because they're feeling angry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna feel angry too. And some, something you guys can do and something that has helped me is when this person like says something negative or they're feeling their anger or they're upset or all, and I feel like I'm an empath, empath too, but I really take on people's emotions. But it's something you can do is just imagine that there is like a wall an invisible shield between you and that person as you're like with them in the moment or um, dropping off kids or you're with them and they're being real negative something and maybe they're a family member you don't want to really just cut out but I also want you to realize like it's okay to cut out family it's okay to cut out friends it's okay to cut out people that have been there through your life for a very long time it's okay to cut them out it's it's healthy it's something you should do for yourself for your own well-being so something you can do is in this moment you can just imagine like there's an invisible shield and that like their anger their upsetness upsetness their um emotional feelings the negativity is all over on that side and you can regain and keep your composure and your feelings over here and that has real that has really helped me um I'm going to read the comments for a second. I've been living in a 16 year relationship. I finally found my worth better late than never. Better late than never, yes. Like, you, when you know better, you do better. And then now, like, you know your worth. He's still living with my kids and I feel so trapped. Sarah, message me. I would love to chat with you. Um, because being happy, and that's the first step, is awareness of your worth. Realizing that you're worthy. Realizing that you're good enough. Realizing that you're capable of being happy again or even for the first time. Um, and so just because you feel trapped now doesn't have to mean that you have to feel that way forever or that you will feel, feel that way forever. So reach out to me. I would love to, I would love to chat with you just to get more of your info, like the information of you and your life and more about you. Um, Laura, empathy and narcissistic, very toxic. Yep. And that's, and I feel like that is really, really common. The narcissist kind of knows how to pick their people like they know how to pick that person that is going to care for them and give them everything and put themselves on the back burner and forget about themselves because they want this person you them to be happy and it's it's crazy it's it literally is crazy i'm a good person i forgot that part of me in the views yep and and that's what 
takes its toll is that like you forget who you are like you forget what you like to do you forget what you what you want in your life you forget your desires you forget your wants you forget your needs even you forget all of this stuff because you're so focused on making this person happy and making this relationship work and when and it's 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 crazy too because when you can start to do like the inner work and work on yourself and bring start to bring awareness to what you're saying to yourself and what you've taken on as beliefs and what you've been doing and what they've been creating out of you I guess I don't know been creating you into the person you are now after the abuse and everything I feel like all of that can take its toll and you forget and then when you start to do the inner work and you start to do that you start to grow and if you guys are in a toxic relationship now and you're you haven't left and you're contemplating leaving and maybe you don't feel ready and you feel incapable of leaving, know that right now, even when you're in a relationship, you can do the inner work now. Like you can do the healing work now before you leave. You can do that now. That is okay and it's doable. That is kind of how I did it. Like I worked, I worked on myself. I woke up in the morning. I worked out. I read the books. I listened to the podcasts. I did the healing. I became aware of myself. I took myself through programs. I did all of this stuff. And then that's what helped me to leave was that I was already healing. I was go already growing out of the relationship. And then by the time I was like feeling confident in myself, I realized like, holy cow, I can leave. This is not serving me. And so know that like you just figure out what works for you really. So I'm going to read the comments for a second too. Hi, Ida. Laura, message. I will message you. I can message you after this call, after this live video. I would love to chat. Amber, I'm having a hard time convincing my husband I'm divorcing him. Yeah, and that's and that is something too. Is that they? Yeah, like just like you said, I didn't read it yet. <laughs> Narcissists do not believe we will leave them. So happy since I came to this decision. Amber, do you do this for you, girl? And it may be it may be really hard and. And since you already have that stability of like your choice, your feelings, the what you want, they're going to not believe you. They're not, they've, they've got you in this hold feeling like, oh, they, they won't leave for sure. And the minute that you start to leave, they start to be nice. They start to be kind. They start to really act like they give a shit about you and they really care. And then you, you may fall back so just be strong and remind yourself that just because they're being nice now won't mean they're being nice they'll be nice forever that they'll be good to you forever so i i applaud you for your decision keep going girl i lost so many people who saw my worth yep and and that's what sucks too is that like these people are they really love you and they really care for you and they see the red flags and and you're blinded by the good stuff and not letting yourself see the bad stuff and then by the end of it you've lost yourself and you know that it's bad and deep down you know you need to leave and you know you know you deserve better but you have these programs and that's why I talk about subconscious work because you've been in this relationship probably for a while or maybe a short time, but this person has got into your head so deep that you believe it and that anyone else has anything bad to say, they're just being, they don't care about you. They're not happy for you. They're jealous of you, but really they, they see the things that you aren't aware of seeing because you're so tied into this person. And so that is, that is the work I do is we go into the subconscious. We reprogram all of that belief stuff, all that mindset stuff that is like, has you attached and we completely release it to where you can make your own decisions. You can see clearly now you can improve your confidence. And when you improve your confidence, you see your self-worth. You're like, I'm worthy of way more than this. So I want you guys to know that's possible for you. Yep. It's normal. Like our brains, our subconscious minds are so, are so powerful. And when you can learn about the subconscious mind, it makes so much sense. Your subconscious mind doesn't want you to feel unsafe. It doesn't want you to feel something that maybe you're uncertain about. So that's why people always go back and go back and go back and fall back and go back into the toxic relationships because their brain sees that as their norm. That's your norm. And so when you try to leap out, your brain says, holy shit, that is scary. We don't know what is going to happen if you leave. We don't know what's going to happen. 
could you even afford everything? Could you even, like, would you even be happy? Like, your brain doesn't know what's going to happen on the other side of that. This gives me goosebumps because it's so crazy. But your, your brain doesn't know. Your brain doesn't want you to feel like anything outside of your comfort zone. That's why people struggle so much. And your brain doesn't want you to be unsure of anything. Your brain wants you to be grounded, wants you to know what to expect, wants you to know. And that's why people struggle because they have that push and pull. You consciously deep down know that you deserve better. You know you want to leave. You know you want to be happy. But why do you keep falling back? It's because your brain is fighting it. Your brain wants to keep you somewhere where you know what to expect, even if it's negative. Because maybe this person, you see the good stuff. You don't see the bad, like you try not to see the bad stuff. You try to let the good stuff outweigh it. So when you can get in touch with that subconscious programming, you can get into direct contact with it and reprogram everything. And it's kind of basically what it's like is just saying, oh, that person in my life, let's delete. Let's delete the way I feel about that. Oh, I, I don't like myself. Let's delete that out. Let's put some confidence in there. Let's put some happiness in there. Let's put some um, clear, like, a clear mind in there, peace of mind in there. Um, let's just put all the good stuff in there and let's take all the bad stuff out. That's what subconscious work does. It's amazing. Hey, Annalie. Hey, Amy. Ida, there's always a way out of 20 years ago. I left a very abusive relationship. It took me months and months of planning, but I got out. Best decision ever. Yes. Good job, Lita. Yes. I'm proud of you. Um, so I'm going to get back into the content because <laughs> I can go off track, but so basically you're saying your anger is not my responsibility. I don't, I don't control your thoughts and I don't control how you feel and I, I can't change the way you're feeling and your anger has nothing to do with me. Like maybe, maybe you're angry at me. Maybe you feel like I'm some stupid person, but that has nothing to do with you unless you take that on as your truth. And so that's a lot of the work I do with my clients too, is having them realize like you get to decide what your truth is. Like nothing is just the way it is. Nothing is, oh, that's just how it goes. Like you get to decide what you want for yourself. You get to decide what you feel and think. And sometimes it does take rewiring and releasing some of the BS that has came up over the years of these relationships, of your childhood, of, of things that have happened to you, your experiences. And so, and then you can see clearly and also become aware of that choice for yourself. Um, another thing you guys can say is, I accept, I accept that you feel this way. And this is kind of like the number, the first one, but I accept that you feel that way. They don't want that. They don't want you to feel your own way. You don't want to accept that the way that they feel that way. They just said you're fucking stupid. I say that because, you know, sorry if you have kids in the room, um, but they, they want you to think that you're effing stupid. But if you let them know, I accept that you feel that way. You don't engage in fights. You don't engage in their behavior. You don't try to do something or try to say something to change their mind. You just say, I accept that you feel that way. Because also remind yourself, just because you're saying that doesn't mean that you believe it. And you can also say that too. Is like, just because you feel that way doesn't mean that I have to. Doesn't mean that I have to believe that about myself just because you believe it. So true, I've been working on my self-counseling. I have the supports, which I never had before either. Yes, Sarah. Support is everything. Support is everything because definitely in a toxic relationship, you can feel like you're alone and you can feel like no one understands what you're going through and you can feel like you can't really talk to anyone because it's embarrassing. Like you kind of have that shame and that guilt for staying when you know that it's toxic and, and you can't really talk to anyone about it because you feel that shame please know there's other people that will understand. Find a support group, find a program that will help you heal, find a coach, find find a counselor, find a therapist, whatever it may be, just find some support for anyone, any one of you listening. Hi, thank you for healing yourself and healing others. Wow, good stuff. Aw, Annalie, thank you. And I want, and that's why I do it, because I want other people to know that like you can heal, you can be happy, you can be confident, you can love yourself again, you can make clear choices again, you can be confident in the choices you make, you can believe in yourself and your future, you can do all of that and it's all possible. So another thing, that last one I think I will share with you guys today, is your feelings are your feelings. You can say that. That's a phrase. You can shut it down and disarm the narcissist or toxic person. You can say, your feelings are your feelings. And it's just as simple as that. It's not engaging. It's not stressing yourself out. It's not It's not taking all the energy away from you to have that fight. It's just literally just disarming them. Pure disarm. Saying, your feelings are your feelings. And even if some part of you in, in the 
in your head or in your heart or in your body or your mind feels like, oh man, that fucking hurts. That hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. And, and I feel like a lot of the reason that it does hurt when these people say stuff is because they've gotten into your head and had you believe it or things that have happened to you have you believing it and that's why it hurts but if you can break free from those beliefs and rewire that mind and rewire those beliefs you can start to realize that isn't true and then it starts to hurt less it doesn't and eventually it doesn't hurt because you don't believe it anymore and I feel like that's why it hurts because part of us does maybe believe it and they've gotten us to believe it so just saying like your feelings are your feelings again takes the fight away it may make them upset about it. It may make them feel like they're grasping. Because now, what? My feelings are my own feelings. What about your feelings? Don't you feel shitty? They want you to feel shitty. They want you to feel bad. So when you don't, when you can kind of like act like it, and maybe sometimes it is acting like it, just putting on that front, then it, it kind of shuts them down. Because then what, are, what, el what else are they going to say? If nothing they're saying is hurting you, if nothing they're saying seems like it's hurting you, they're going to, they might just quiet themselves. They might just leave the room. They might, and maybe it might make them angry, but then you're, you're standing up for yourself. And they want you to hurt again because they hurt. And this takes their power away and has you standing in your own power and you're as you stand up for yourself and as you stand in this power the more you do it the better you will feel because i feel like that it sucks because as this toxic relationship happens this relationship has went on you put yourself on the back burner you decided to keep yourself quiet you've decided to um like forget about yourself forget about your feelings you don't stand up for yourself you don't you walk on eggshells all of that like and when you start to do the little things to stand up for yourself, it starts to feel good. And then you want to do more of it. And then eventually you find yourself leaving because you know what you deserve. It makes him mad. Then he tries to be nice. I'm onto his game. Sarah, good job. I'm proud of you. And I'm glad you're numb to him. It sucks you have to be numb to someone. But sometimes being numb to someone means happiness for you. And yeah, that's that's what will happen when they're when they feel like, oh, I'm onto their game. Like I'm not I'm not hurting them anymore. Like they're not freaking out about what I'm saying. They're not they're not worried about what I feel about them. Then you win. So then they want to bring you back. They want to pull you in. They want to make you feel good again. So then they can shoot you down and hurt you again. So you're winning. You're winning. If you're standing up for yourself. If you're doing things that make you feel good, you're winning. So those are about the five little, um, and then also I want to remind you guys, those are the five phrases that I wanted to share today, but I also want to remind you if you are in a toxic relationship and you know deep down you deserve better, but it seems really, really hard, get out. A narcissist, a toxic person will never change unless they're willing to change, and most of them aren't willing to change because it feels better to hurt other people. It's easier to hurt other people than deal with their own shit. So if you're dealing with a toxic relationship that is taking a toll on you day by day by day, please leave, please get out ASAP as soon as possible because you deserve better. And if you are feeling this and then this is you, please reach out to me. Let's, let's jump on the phone. Let's talk about your situation. Let's talk about how you deserve better. And by the end of our chat, you will be starting to believe that you deserve better even if you don't believe it now. And just, just reach out to me. Schedule a free strategy call. Um, and also, again, you can comment in the comments and I'll send you a link. Or you can go to my cover photo. If you don't feel like comfortable putting yourself out there, you can go to my cover photo and you can click the link there and you can book a call. Um, so that's open for you guys if you want it trying to click see more i had it for 18 years finally asked for a divorce two years ago so much stronger and happier now i was told i was too sensitive man up so pleased i'm out now yep and it sucks like it it sucks being put through that stuff but then like you learn so much about your strength when you leave 
And then it's like, at first, your brain is like, what's going to happen? I'm scared. I don't want to leave. And that's why people stay for so long. Because they're scared to leave. They're scared of the unknown. And so when you step out to that, and you start to actually live life free, like without them, you start to realize, oh my God, I can be myself. I can feel free to be myself. I can feel free to do what I want. I can feel free to believe what I want. I can feel free to work on myself. I can feel free to go about my day without arguments, without toxic people. And so proud of you too, Louise. Um, so, and then the more you do that, you become happier. Everything improves when you do stuff for yourself and you stand up for yourself and you make yourself happy. So again, if you guys are struggling and maybe you've left, but you're really freaking struggling and maybe you've left to multiple toxic relationships and that's also a whole nother video but it's basically if you don't heal yourself and you don't work on yourself after leaving or while leaving or any time you will continuously find yourself in the same patterns finding the same type of toxic person finding people in different toxic ways never truly finding someone that's good for you because you don't believe that you deserve better and maybe deep down you do, but you have those programs, you have those beliefs, you have those things going on in your mind where they've, they've hurt you so much and made you feel so low for so long that, oh, I'm not good enough to have anyone better. This is what I deserve. Like, this is the best I can do. And that's not true. So, again, if you guys want to chat and you guys need some extra support, this is if this is you, if you were struggling with this, of everything I'm talking about, please reach out to me. Go to my cover photo, book a call. Um, let me know in the comments. You can message me too. I'm here to chat. I'm here to support you guys. So I'm going to jump off here, but I love you guys. And please, 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 even if it feels really, really hard to believe it, please start to shift into believing that you're good enough because you are. And if you have no one in your life telling you that, that's why I'm here. So you're good enough. I love you guys. I'll see you later.